The overall goal of this procedure is to quantify cerebral vasospasm in mice after induction of subarachnoid hemorrhage. This is accomplished by subjecting the animal to transcardiac perfusion and endovascular casting using a radiopaque casting agent. The next step is to obtain cross-sectional imaging data by subjecting the brain to microcomputed tomography. Then imaging data is processed. The MIRA software is used to virtually reconstruct the intracranial vascular tree and to calculate volumes of defined vessel segments, which represent an objective measure to quantify vasospasm. Subarachnoid hemorrhage is induced in mice by endovascular filament perforation under anesthesia with isoflurane. The left external carotid artery is prepared surgically. Then the filament is inserted into the external carotid artery and advanced intracranially through the internal carotid artery, which is perforated at the carotid T, inducing a subarachnoid hemorrhage. A rise in intracranial pressure is taken as an indicator of successful endovascular perforation. To analyze vasospasm, induce anesthesia. Continue only after a sufficient anesthesia level has been reached, which is confirmed by the absence of reactions to pain stimuli. Perform a transcardiac perfusion using the following solutions. A physiological salt solution containing the physiological concentrations of sodium, potassium, calcium and magnesium at a pH of 7.4 and afterwards a 4% PFA solution. Start the perfusion with solution number 1 for 2 minutes and continue with solution number 2 for 4 minutes.